Hi everyone, my name is Jan Melisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I am going to teach you on how to paint this wonderful painting and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. So before I'm going to start the tutorial, I am going to introduce to you first the material that I'm going to use. So this um this is my pen palette and I have it at titanium white, the tallow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow and the raw umber. So I'm using limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay, and if you're using burnt shade, you can mix it with blue and red to make it dark or look like black and I recommend burnt umber and burnt uh, raw umber, okay, and these are my brushes. I'll be using the number 12 nylon flat brush, number 8 nylon flat brush, long handled, number 7 nylon flat brush, short handle, number 3 nylon flat brush, short handle, and I have here the number 0 liner brush or round brush for the details. You can also use one double zero triple zeros okay and this is my canvas it's 10 by 12 inches it has three colors of prime white acrylic and also use so i made it myself and water to tint the paint water spray um so that we can wet our canvas and it will be easier for us to blend the colors okay so i think i'm going to start now and I'm going, today i'm going to paint the horses and as you see as you see guys, um, there is only the sketch and I also recommend to you to sketch first the horses. Um, it will be faster for us to, to paint or to, to finish the painting. Okay, that's why I'm doing the sketch first. And I know that you can do it also. Just uh, follow the uh, just follow the reference and if it will be hard for you, I'm going to provide um, a traceable for this one. So that you can, you can, so that um, it will serve as your guide for this, for the, for the horses. Okay. Okay. So this is pencil, and if you if you have some, some materials, you can also use for the sketching. Okay. So I think we'll start now. And at first we're gonna we're gonna do the, the horses for the background color of the horses. So that um, we have the guide, okay. And I'll be using a smaller brush. It's the number three flat brush. And I'll be using the raw umber. We're gonna do the dark tones first. We're gonna put the dark tones first before the highlights or before the the colors, okay. So I think I need to do the sketching. Move a little all down. Okay. So let's do the outline first. And do not be afraid guys, always remember that.
So the hair. If it if it feels hard, just dip it for your brush into the water to make it wet. So you can still adjust the sketching to make it more proportional. Proportional, I mean. There. Uh, let's go to the other one. This one will be a red horse. Not a red horse beer, but a red horse. Animal, okay. By the way, I, I downloaded the photo from Pixabay. Um, it's a free photo. Realty photo. Uh, Realty free photo. So that you don't worry about copyright on this one. Okay, here. The other tail. Um, fit here on the back. It. So we have now the sketching and we're gonna paint the background colors. Okay, so I'll be using a bigger brush and this one will be the red horse. That's why I'm gonna need to put the uh, I'm gonna paint it red. Okay, and of course I'll be using raw umber, yellow, and red. More yellow, it will become orange. Anyway guys, this is just the background, the first coats or So yeah, this will be the first step. Okay, and now of course the face. So don't worry, just cover, just fill it up with the brownish orange color or yellowish brown color. Okay, 
And now this one will be the black heart, so I'm gonna use the raw umber with some white to make it lighter. There. So again, do not worry about if you're covering some parts. Just use a uh, very thin paint to make the sketch uh, visible. You can actually spray it with water to make it wet, to make it easier for you to blend. Okay, so you know the background cones, uh, tones or colors. Now we're gonna need to do first the uh, the background here. The foreground, uh, I mean the the background. So we're gonna paint the background. I'm gonna paint the sky, the the crashing waves, or something like that. Okay. So I'll be using the bigger brush, this is the number twelve front brush. And we're gonna mix for blue, so I'll be using some blue, some red to make it purple, and white. I'm gonna put a little red, red to make it purple and white. There are some insects on my palette. It will be a little cloudy, yes. You can spray it with water so that it will become smooth. There. I'm going to add some white. It's okay if you cover some parts of the, of the of the foreground. That will be fine. Just remember what uh, what part is that, okay? Okay, gonna add more blue and purple and white.
there, but we need to retouch that later. Okay. Now we're gonna do the the ocean. So it will be a darker purple. So I'm gonna use the blue and the purple. And of course we need to make the make sure that the horizon is straight. So you can use the roller. Also here. Okay, and also here. I'm gonna cover it first with uh, this color but anyway this is just the background colors do not worry about it I'll add some blue and red Okay, I think I'm gonna cover everything with the, uh, but I'm gonna use a smaller brush. So I'll be using this brush, number eight, that brush, and I'm gonna use again this color, and we're gonna put more here. Again guys, this is just uh, the background tones or color. We need to fill um, everything here. Okay. It doesn't matter if if you cover some parts, some strokes or some uh, parts of the foreground or the sketch. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to mix for another purple. It doesn't matter, guys, because that is just the background or the first cut. We will touch that later. Okay. So here.
Okay, about that. Then, that's it. So we have now the first codes. And we're gonna start adding the highlights. A little by little details. So I'll be mixing another purple. But this time it'll become a little darker. Here. That's too dark. And more white. So we're gonna put some clouds here. We're going to make this sky dark. There. That's it. And the highlights will be on the left, uh, on the right side here. So the light, the sun will be on the right side. So we're gonna put some highlights on the on the right side. There. When I use a pure white, then I'm gonna put the highlights. Okay, so that's how easy you can, you can paint the clouds. You can use the tapping or bouncing technique. I'm gonna add more white. Well, let's, um, let's add some white lines here. On the bottom of the sky, okay. And just gonna retouch the horizon to make it straight. Also here, let's not forget this part. That's it. Then add some few um, clouds here. Then you're gonna put more white here. That's it. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna put the I'm gonna, gonna paint the clouds. I'm gonna put more white there. So again guys, do not overdo it, always remember that, make some room of um, what I mean about uh, overdoing guys, uh, to do not cover it all with uh, the same color when you put the highlights, 
just put a few of it just like what I what I'm doing here I didn't cover everything with with the white um, floppy clouds I just put one here another here, another here, and so on and so forth okay there so we have now the sky I like I love the sky it looks realistic and here also so what's next we're gonna paint the crashing waves so it will be a little exciting and we're doing that we need to mix some blue green and I'm gonna refill some white I'll be using the same brush and I'm gonna need some blue and yellow to mix some blue green and white there I love this color And we need to put a crossing wave here. There. That's it. And we need some blue and red to make some dark purple. And we're gonna put some dark here. Um, you can spray it with water so that you can it will become wet and it will be easier for us to blend. There. You can brush it like this to to blend the two colors to meet the two colors. At the center. Okay. And we're gonna use again this color and I'm gonna put more blue green on the on the on the distance. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna put more blue. And I think we start adding some crashing wave. White forms, I mean the white forms. So I'll be using of course the white. And it's gonna paint the white here. You can use the tapping technique. And it's gonna roll here, okay? And also here. That's it. I'm put it this way here, okay? And I'm gonna put a crossing wave here. There. And on the distance, we're gonna put it also here. I'm gonna use pure white to create the crashing wave here. Just a circular stroke. That's it, and also here. Ok, 
Okay. Please add more white. And let's make this lighter. That's it. Okay, how about that? And of course here we're gonna put a little colors. So I'll be using again this color here with some white. The lighter purple, I mean. And let's put some foams here. White foams. There. Then I'll be using a smaller brush, this is number 7 flat brush, here. We're going to add some small waves on the, on the beach. But I'm gonna add some more foams. So I'm gonna create lines here. So this will be the line of the beach with the white foams, okay? There. I mean, we need to add a little waves here. with the white forms, okay? Another one. More white. There. So I'm gonna create more white foams. Using this brush. Make sure guys that um, you have to do it a little smaller. Yeah. Also here. This part should be smaller. Okay, I'm going to retouch here. 
just gonna put more white foams on the top there and also here Now, also on the distance, we should also add some more waves, casting waves. Okay. Add more crossing waves here. There, okay. And of course, more on the distance. It should be smaller than the than the than the near um, waves, okay? That's how I get um, perspective. And here. And of course here I'm gonna put more And I'm gonna mix for a lighter tone here. So I'm gonna I'll be using again this light purple, and again uh, it should be like darker, not more blue. Here. To create details on the distant and waves. Okay. Yeah, I think that looks realistic. And I'm gonna put more light here on this part. So I'll be using the yellow and the blue and more white to make it more green. Yes. Let's spray it with water to make it wet. There. Here, I'm gonna put some light reflection, so it will be. It will. It, it would look like um, a very thin um, part of the water. Okay. Now I'll be using some more blue and let's make this darker. Blue and red. Okay. And let's make this part darker. Just create a few lines, something like this. Okay, yeah. 
I think that will be enough for that but I think I'm gonna make this yellow yes for the beach or the beach color so I'll be using again the raw umber yellow and white of course red and more yellow to make a yellowish brown okay here and let's make this part orange for the beach and let's make it darker so that it will become it will look like a wet beach there when the sun when the sun is wet it will become darker And sometimes it will reflect some light. Okay. And I'm gonna make this part um, yellowish or brownish. So that it will become, look, it will look like a very thin water. Give my shallow water. Okay. There. Yes. And let's now start um, painting the horses. That will be very exciting, guys. I think this tutorial will took me um, hours. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Hopefully, I can finish it before one, um, before two hours. Okay. So I'll be using again this uh, this brush, which is the number eight flat brush, and let's use the raw umber with some blue to make it dark or look like black. Let's just mix it with blue color, and let's okay, let's yeah. And also here. We don't more umber. And I'll be using a smaller brush now, which is the number 7 flat brush. So I'll be using the raw umber with a little blue, and let's make this part dark. Let's put all, all the dark tones on the left side because our highlight is coming from the right side. Okay, I'm gonna create some small hair. I'm gonna mix it with the uh, brown, outer blue. So 
So we're just gonna have to make all of it dark first. my first step I put a few details Just um, be careful. So for now, I'm, I am adding the dark tones, dark par parts first before adding the highlights. Okay, and we need to be careful a little. Sorry. to add some hair or yes yeah, some for or hair there and of course this one here And just spray it with water to make it wet so that it will be easier for us to blend. You can use a smaller brush if you want, if you are having a hard time using this one to create small hair or yeah, a very detailed hair. Actually, this will be hard. You can use a smaller brush for it. Another detail here. And next, I'm uh, going to add some more dark tones. Okay. First, we need to add uh, no, the next step will be adding some more lighter tones so I'm gonna add more red and yellow it will become brownish okay that's it this will be a mid tone here Add more yellow.
then you can add a little highlight here. And also here. Yes, just cover it with that color. So I'll be using more raw umber with some white to make it grayish. And on the hair on this part. And also here, I'm going to cover it with this color, okay? Yes, we're almost there. Here also, okay, but we need to add some more splashes of water here because they are running, so we need to add some splashes of water. here okay so I'm, I'm mixing a little orange color so I'm gonna put a little orange here Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> now we're gonna put some highlights, a little highlights for the heart. So I'm gonna use the white and this raw umber here. It should be lighter. Okay. And next, uh, we need to add a line here. We need to be careful. There. I'm gonna add some highlights because uh, I think it looks like wet. The body of the hearts looks like wet.
here. And also here, in the both more. Okay. We do not need to make it perfect guys. Just make it real. Just here. And also here you need to fix it a little. Add some highlights. That's it. And the head. Here. The little highlights. And of course the nose. Okay. I want more. About that. Okay, and I'm going to make it a little darker so we can have can put some hair. Yes. There. This is the ear, guys. Just create a few lines. You can actually use the number one, number zero liner brush if you are having a hard time using this brush. I think that will be easier for you. There. Okay. And we need more retouch here. Need more highlights. And also here. There. That looks almost realistic. And I need to add a little details on the hair. That's it. Yes. But I'm going to add more. Here. Okay, I'm going to add more white, make it lighter. This time I need more 
highlights it will look more wet I'm not sure Again guys, it doesn't have to be as exactly as it looks But you can also do something like that It will make it more realistic But you need more time <laughs> doing that I have no time guys <laughs> That's why I just copy yeah, similar for more brown so I'm gonna use the red no I mean orange and yellow and let's put more orange here part as the orange accent of the horse realistic and I'm going to use a smaller brush the number one liner brush here let's add more details I'm gonna use pure white yes I think the pure white and let's start adding some more details here I think I'll stop there. Wait, still need more touch. I'm using this color here. And we'll make this part lighter. And also this part here. Okay, and some darker tones I used there. A little here. Okay. Yes. That is beautiful. Okay, and let's gonna proceed to the other one, which is the the orange horse. 
And I'll be using this color again. Not the brush again, just the number 7 pot brush. And the raw umber. And white. So we're going to use this for the dark tones or the dark part. So here. So we're gonna fill this part with this color. Okay. With a very straight line here. Shadow. So I think we just covered it with this color, everything. There. And another one here. Anyway, we need to add more water, splashing of water right there. And I'll do it later. Okay. And I'm going to add some red on this to make it reddish or reddish brown I'm gonna put some darker tone here And I'm gonna use some orange. I'm gonna create some mid tones, guys. I'm gonna mix some mid tones, yellow and red. There, make some brownish. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add more red. I think I'm gonna mix for more orange, yellow, and red. More yellow and red, and a little white. 
my yellow it should be pinkies so I'm gonna add more red and white And then again the brown. And we're gonna mix for another orange, so here yellow and red, more yellow and then white. I'm gonna blend here a little. Yes. more orange and here and then on the hair gonna make it Actually, it's more yellow, so I'm gonna make this yellow. I'm gonna use this dark color, color here and let's cover some parts I 
and of course the ear okay, okay and I'm gonna use some gray color and blue or umber just mix the umber and blue to make some gray and of course white and let's make this part dark add some white on there to make some lighter gray I'm gonna add some highlights here So the color of the nose is something like grayish. That's why we're adding the grayish highlight because of the grayish nose. Yes. Okay. I think I'm gonna add more highlights. So I'll be mixing some, some yellowish highlights. So I'm gonna use this yellow here and some more white there. Yellow and white. And let's add adding some yellowish highlights on the on the hair. I'm gonna add more yellow. There, just do it a little softly. Touch it. Just make sure it's um, small or thin. I think we gonna need a smaller brush. So I'll be using the number one liner, uh, number zero liner brush here. So I'm gonna add some white and yellow. Add more water to make it thin and wet and it will be easier for us to to make the strokes here I'm gonna wait yes that's it so as you see guys the, the strokes become thinner or smaller It's not better to look. I'm not gonna add more white. I'm gonna use some white here. Add more highlights. There.
aquí and now I'll be using this orange here which I'm white I'm gonna add more yellow to add some highlights on the other part, other part. so let's start with the with the ear there that's too light I'm going to make it darker on the eye I'm gonna make some highlights on the eye Okay, that's it. So you have now a little details on the horse. Uh, let's add more detail here. A little here. On the back. I'm gonna add more yellow here. And here. So we're we're adding some highlights guys to make this uh, more uh, pop out or more realistic. And here. Let's just add a little shade highlights here. Okay. And another one here. I'm gonna mix for some pink color, so red and white. There. So it's a uh, pinkish color, guys. We need to add here Let's add more pinkies highlight. Hmm. 
Вот видите? Вот так. I think that looks realistic now. So far, I love it. Okay. And I'm gonna use more white. So I'll be using some more white here. Uh, let's add some highlight here. On the nose. And I'll be using again this yellow. But I'll be using some orange here. to use darker so I'll be using the umber to paint some eye there and I'll be mixing some color here to make some dark tones so it will become a darker, darker brown okay or umber and red. I'm going to add more umber. And also here. And right here. Okay, so just follow what I'm doing, guys. Uh, this is not recommended for the beginners, but it will be challenge challenging, so you can do it also, you can try. And do not be afraid to try, guys. Always remember that. It will help you learn. Okay, how about that? And I think I'm gonna be using the number seven pot brush to add more shades on the on this part here. So I'll be using the raw umber. And let's add more shade here. And also here, uh, just a little shade to, to add some tones on the on the horse. Okay, about that. I know it's add some splashes of color, splashes of water. I mean. here so yes we're gonna use some blue and red and some white it will become grayish yes blue is gray or grayish and let's add some splashes gonna make this a little misty there 
We need to cover some parts here. Then I use some white. Careful guys, there are some colors on your paints. And using again this grey stone, we need to create a little fog. Some fog. Now let's add more white, some highlights. There. You can use the punching or tapping technique. Yes. And I'll be mixing some darker tones of the water. So I'm gonna mix for some purple, red, blue, and white.
and I'm going to add more white. Okay. Yeah, and let's add some. I'll be using a smaller brush again and some lighter tones. And I'm going to add some shiny effect on the feet so that it will be look like wet. Also here, I'm gonna make it wet, but I'm going to retouch that. I'm gonna use uh, another another brush, and using the raw umber, I'm going to retouch that one with some white. It's gonna make this lighter. There, and also this one. And I'm gonna make that shiny, a wet look. I'm gonna use some white. There, that looks shiny. And of course, we need we should not forget the the shadows, of course. So I'll be using the umber with some white. So here, we're gonna put the shadow here. It should have a little blue on it. Some white. There, I'm going to add more white. Okay. Here. 
Okay. And it's going to make some shadow of the water. So I'm mixing a uh, bluish gray color, red, blue, and white. Here. So you can retouch this part also. Then I'm going to use this through umber with some red and yellow. So I should make this part brownish. There. And here are more dark tones and let's put some Okay I'm not sure guys if I am done, I think I am done <laughs> Yeah Okay, I think I'm going to, to, I'm going to retouch more on the. So I'm, I'll, I'll be mixing more orange and brown with some more white. I've been retouching this sun, the sun. I'm gonna add more orange on this. Yes, I think I love what I did today, guys. <laughs> it looks really realistic. And I hope you're enjoying too with my tutorial today. And I hope you get something, even though I'm not uh, talking a lot <laughs> today. So I hope you learned something out of the tutorial. So that you can apply it on your own. So I want to say thank you guys. I think I am done. Yeah, I think I am content. But you can still add more details on this. If ever you want to put more details. If you want to retouch more. That will be good. And yeah, you should do that. Okay. So I want to say thank you so much guys for watching this video today. And my advice is to keep on practicing. Keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush. The more you know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using my two colors in Pali because I want you to learn to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay guys, once again, thank you so much. Please hit like and subscribe to subscribe more videos in the future. Okay guys, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all.